Whoa, 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 you guys wanted the tech blues? That's not this show. Yeah, yeah, it's the next studio over. I woke up this morning. <laughs> wanted some tech. <laughs> Sony is buying game developer Bungie. Who could have seen this coming? The studio behind the original Halo, as well as the Destiny franchise, for $3.6 billion. That's way less than what Microsoft paid for Activision. This is hardly a flex. They say, though, that Bungie will remain an independent subsidiary with Bungie CEO Pete Parsons pledging that their future games will not be PlayStation exclusives. The deal comes right on the heels of Microsoft's purchase of Activision Blizzard, with the irony of Xbox being the house that Halo built being lost on absolutely no one. Now, Bungie will be joining the Sony Interactive Entertainment family, which already includes Insomniac Games, Naughty Dog, Guerrilla Games, Sucker Punch Productions, and Blue Point Games, to name a few. Bungie says it's entering a new era focused on global multimedia entertainment, not just games, so maybe Destiny animated series a la Arcane? Uh, Anyone? I don't really want that, but Arcane was pretty good. Do people care about Destiny in that way? I think so. Did anyone care about League of Legends in that way? Yes. <laughs> Be on the lookout for faster connectivity the next time you're at a U.S. airport. The FAA has announced they've come to an agreement with telecom giants Verizon and AT&T for placing C-band 5G at airports. Huzzah! Although it sounds like a no-brainer, especially considering how clogged both cell and Wi-Fi networks can get at busy airports, the move was actually a long time coming as the FAA was concerned about safety. That's what they do. <laughs> That's so weird. It wanted to ensure the 5G bands wouldn't interfere with important aircraft systems, such as altimeters and wings. Sky chairs. Flaps. <laughs> the telcos countered, however, that many other countries already have 5G at their airports without any accidents happening. It's unclear as to when exactly we'll see the first 5G towers near airports in the US, but if you're worried about catching the 5G yourself, don't worry. You already have to be vaccinated to fly internationally. And the signal is amazing iPhone owners should see a couple of interesting updates in iOS 15.4. One is a pretty big quality of life enhancement. Face ID will now work even if you're wearing a face mask. I thought they already had that. Like an anonymous mask? John F. Kennedy mask. <laughs> Put them up. Unlock your phones. Although this feature was kind of sort of present for a while, you had to also have an unlocked Apple Watch to use as a key. Ah, there you go. Meaning iPhone users without the expensive watch add-on were left out in the cold. No technology plebs. Additionally, the OS update will bring a new batch of emoji, one of which is a face that's smiling as it literally melts. Literally? I'm not getting into this again. <laughs> which would be pretty on brand for most of us these days. That's true. The update should officially roll out sometime later this year. Hopefully no one will care because we won't be wearing masks. <laughs> but the emoji, fingers crossed. Its face is literally melting. Yeah, but it's an emoji, so it's not literally melting. It's, a, it's depicting. This is, this is philosophical. Today's quick bits are brought to you by Secret Lab. Their chairs are engineered to keep you incredibly comfortable for long hours at work <laughs> and play. Their new Titan Evo 2022 chair has four-way lumbar support, ultra nice lines of different seat materials, and more. All chairs come with up to a five-year extended warranty and 49-day return policy. So head to the link in the description and check out Secret Lab today. Secrets out, baby. Take the side entrance. Quick bits. I'm not gonna tell you what they are, but James knows. I know how they taste. One of the most punishing games you can buy for your PC might be getting a little easier to run. According to the head of Microsoft Flight Simulator, the game will be getting DLSS support in DirectX 12 sometime this year. Of course, you'll need an NVIDIA RTX GPU to take advantage of it, but if you're lucky enough to have one, you could have first-class visual quality without coach-level frame rates. I like this. Or seatmates. They're even worse. Fasten your seatbelt. When you're in, when you're in co like the people sitting. I get the armrest. If you're in the middle, you get both armrests. In November, Tesla started allowing owners of non-Tesla electric vehicles to use its supercharger stations in the Netherlands, but that's now being expanded to France and Norway. Ciao. You have to live in one of these countries or in Germany or Belgium to take advantage of the service, and you'll also pay some additional fees compared to Tesla drivers. They eventually hope to open all superchargers to third-party EVs though, so Tesla drivers will only be able to smugly nod to each other for so long. Before the plebs come in. I'm sure they'll stu still do that. It looks like Cyberpunk 2077 is very close to launching on next-gen consoles. The current release is written for previous-gen machines, and of course the PC version took a notoriously lengthy time to release and was still plagued with bugs, so console gamers have had quite a long wait for the next-gen version. 
The news comes as the game is now listed on the back end of the PlayStation Store, and it's believed we'll see the game on the platform within a few weeks. Hopefully, without a boatload of glitches, but uh, fingers are not crossed for that one, it's probably gonna happen. They're a hot mess! I know PC components have been hard to come by, but please don't do what one Amazon warehouse manager did and steal them. <laughs> a manager at Amazon's Charlotte Warehouse is in deep doo-doo. Uh, yeah, that's poop. After pleading guilty to stealing over a quarter million dollars in computer parts and selling them to a wholesaler. He's facing up to 20 years in the joint. So yeah, please stick to getting your GPUs through legal means, which it's like, what? who you knows what- You wouldn't download a car. Yeah, exactly. But how, how do I know? I don't know if it's legal right now. You're going away for a long time. Best Buy could have done some shady stuff. And the next version of Chrome for Android looks like it'll come with a new built-in safety feature for users. It will now ask you if you're sure about closing all your browser tabs. Hooray! The option to do so is currently right next to a list of other options, making it very easy to tap by mistake. No, my fetishes! <laughs> So hopefully the powers that be at Google will include the feature in the final release. Wait, you don't want it, but we, we do want it. Close your tabs anyways. I don't want to lose tabs. You don't need all those tabs. On the phone, who cares? And it's time to close all the tabs of today's news stories because this episode's over. Come back on Wednesday for more tech news. What timeline is what this? Time, what, what dimension is this? Hopefully I'll see you in the right one. Later. <laughs>